Hi there YouTube. Today I'm uh, very pleased because uh, I have a lot of moths and this is uh, because it's spring right now and most of my species are emerging after having overwintered for almost a year sometime. Um, what I have on my hand right now is a male of the Cacropia moth, Hyalophora Cacropia. And this species occurs uh, in North America and Canada. It's one of my favorites. They have only one generation a year. But they're very gentle creatures and uh, very bright red and gray. So I'll place this one here. What we have here next is the Polyphemus moth. Well, I'm not sure if this is the right pronunciation. My native language is not English. But um, it's the Prometheus moth. Uh, Antheria Polyphemus. Um, they are quite large as you can see. And they have quite beautiful and decorative eye spots on their hind wings. For uh, which they have been named uh, the Polyphemus moth. Because in mythology Polyphemus was uh, a cyclope with one eye. It's beautiful. As you can see it's transparent. It's a spot in the middle. See? It's really beautiful. These um, also occur in North America. So I'll place this one here. Well, over here we have two more males of the Cacropia moth. I'll show them briefly because we've already seen this one. Here. It's quite an old male. Um, they're, a little, they're a bit of apathic creatures, very lazy. They won't easily fly away. So they're easy to handle and to film. So, I'll put you there. Oh, it dropped itself. Yeah, they tend to do this. Uh, it's a defense mechanism. So, hey, that little guy. Hang on to this. It's getting busy. So over here we have some more North American species. This one is almost dead. But it's a Luna moth, the Actias Luna. Um, they are quite short lived. Um, well, all these moths are quite very short lived in general. For they have reduced mouth parts and are unable to feed. So this is, explains their short lifespan. Their energy is just drained after about a week. And that's it. They only reproduce, lay eggs, and then they die. But uh, it's also very beautiful. Well, over here we have a load of eggs. And here we have the Automeris Io. The Io moth, also from North America. And as you can see, it has beautiful eye spots on the hind wings. Yes, it's really remarkable. Very brightly colored. One of my favorites. So this one has a quite odd forewing. I don't know what happened right here, but it's a little bit deformed. It's not not the shape it's supposed to be. It's still quite beautiful. And here we have a moth from Madagascar. Uh, it's one. It's a little bit. Yeah, it's a little old one. Oop, it dropped itself. But they. Uh, they tend to do this, it's, it's a habit most silk moths have, to, to drop themselves when they're stressed. As you can see it has beautiful, beautiful pink uh, hind wings and with eye spots on them. It's trying to advertise the eye spots now, it's a defense mechanism as well. It's just beautiful, look at it. I'll put this one right here. The other two. Oh. It wants to stay in my hand. So, there. Great, isn't it? They are really, really beautiful. Well, I have some small ones right here. Um, this is a European species. It is called the magpie moth. And this is due to their uh, coloring. Oop. I'll put it back in the cage. Because apparently it wants to fly. Ah, phew. Back in the cage. Lucky for me. These are quite easy to breed. And they used to be very common in Europe until a few years ago. Now they're becoming more rare. 
And what we have here, this is the cream spot tiger, the, called Arctia villica. And it has some crazy uh, red and yellow colors, and black and white. And this one is actually toxic, so the colors, the bright red colors on the underside, these are a warning for predators. So it means, it literally means don't eat me because I'm toxic. Yeah, beautiful. I really have a lot of moths right now and they are emerging, more and more are emerging every day. And here back here in the back I have another male of Cacropia. I really wish another female would emerge soon because that would mean I would be able to breed them. So I hang you. Yeah. Oh, dropped itself again. Should have expected that. Yes. Come on, little guy. Hang on there. So, I'd also like to apologize for my accent. Uh, I'm Dutch, so. Just look at them. So pretty. And quite large. Yeah. Show me your hind wings. Bam. Crazy. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, that was it for today.